Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. It's officially spring, which means only one thing, Stylemaker Fabrics Spring Style Tour. I have been so fortunate to participate in the tour for a few years now. I've been able to make some wonderful garments that I truly love and wear all the time. It's a true testament to the quality of the fabrics at Stylemaker. This year, I was wholly inspired by all the wonderful color trends in fashion. Specifically, Pantone's Color of the Year, Living Coral. There is a ton of inspiration online for how to incorporate this bold, bright color into your wardrobe. And inevitably, I couldn't decide on just one look, so I decided to make three. It begins with this tinsel twill in coral. I knew as soon as I saw it that it would be the base for my new outfits. I've worked with tinsel twill before, and I knew that it would make the perfect drapey wide leg pant. And if you saw my Vogue Spring First Impression video, then you know I fell in love with Vogue 1620, the wardrobe pattern from Tom and Linda Platt. I loved the defined high waist, the deep pleat, and the wide leg of this pattern. I knew it would suit the tinsel twill perfectly. To go with my new pants, I got three fabrics to make three completely different looks. One for the office, one for a casual date night, and one for the weekend. First up is my workwear look. It features this stunning floral rayon poplin. As you guys know, I love rayon poplin. It's a little bit heavier than Shally, but still has all the great qualities of rayon. For the pattern, I went with Simplicity 8789, a bodysuit. What I loved about this pattern was that even though it's a bodysuit, the bodice is still blousey. It's the perfect tucked in dressy top. Next is my casual date night look. For this one, I chose this lightweight Swiss clipped dot shirting in blue. I loved the lightweight structure and knew it would make a great version of Verda 6313. The style of this pattern needs a fabric that will stand up to the A-line bodice, but be light enough for the gathered sleeve. This Swiss dot was perfect. Finally, my weekend look. I decided I wanted to make an interesting sweatshirt to go with my dressy pants. So it was easy to decide on the Heather sweatshirt fleece in coral. The pattern is the itch to stitch Nottingham top. I chose this pattern because I thought the swoop on the hem would suit the high waisted pants, but I wanted a little bit more visual interest. So I added a contrast neckband inset and cuffs out of the same sweatshirt fleece, but in the carmine colorway. And there you have it, my three outfits featuring coral pants. I've got a lot more information to share about these looks, including alterations I made to the patterns, as well as alternate colorways, and I'll be sharing those throughout the week. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel and click the bell to get notified of future videos. In the meantime, head to Stylemaker Fabrics and check out the fabrics I use to make these garments. Links are in the description box. You can also check out all of the coral fabrics they offer by clicking fabrics, latest trends, then lively coral. There are dozens of great coral fabrics suitable for absolutely any garment you can dream up. Well, that's going to do it for me today. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.